Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. All right, so here he is representing the American Kickboxing Academy, San Jose, California, a man who I believe is the most dominant force in the game at present. UFC lightweight champion, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You know, for Khabib Nurmagomedov, he's a guy that has dominated every person that he's faced inside the octagon. He has a great Sambo background, but it's all the takedowns that he mixes well together that allows him to gain top position, and when he's on top, his ground control is second to none. He can move from position to position seamlessly, and when he's on top, he's constantly doing damage. It's the ground and pound of Habib Nurmagomedov that is his biggest and best attribute. And what's crazy to me is to hear you tell stories about him in training oh. that we haven't even seen the tip of the iceberg when it John, comes to what he can do in the octagon. J.A., I don't believe that we have seen the finished version. I think when he's in the octagon, he's fighting at about 75% of what I see on a daily basis at the gym. Well, history is going to look back fondly on Khabib Nurmagomedov, but every time he competes, he puts his status as one of the greatest fighters of all time on the line, and that status, of course, on the line yet again here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's who does first? Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer holding a professional record on. 14 wins, eight losses. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Orlando, Florida, Mike Platinum Perry. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib, the Eagle, Nurmagomedov! Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. to make this a stand-up affair. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Oh, nice jab. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. 
That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov, you see. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Habib lands early, and he lands off. Oh, and there he goes, working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch is the first one you learn is a jab. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Ooh, head kick lands. Hurts. Oh, looked like that left hand found the target. Found the target as it has on so many occasions tonight. Well, fear is not a factor for this striker. Coming out swinging early as we expected. Everything being thrown to fight in. He throws everything so hard. He said to us, when we talked to him early in the week, he goes, I'm not afraid of anything. I don't care if I can take him down. As long as I get to put some leather on the guy that I'm fighting for. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. 34 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Come on now, recover, let's move that head. Just missing on the uppercut there. They continue to exchange. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Just out of range with that right hand. Big fall from punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, connects with the one-two. And just misses with that big right hand. Some nice power there with the left hook upstairs. Look at him drive his shin into the opponent's body with that body kick. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target. Now, it's like the dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just getting beat up, hitting bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to faint once and then throw that jab right behind it. It's nasty. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Oh, that's a nice strike. Let's go. Use your defense. Keep that left nice hand. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Big body kick. And that one certainly found the target. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Lanza, glancing right hand upstairs. Good, there it is, there it is. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Oh, nice. Oh, that's a nice strike there by Nurmago Meta. Yeah, Habib Nurmagomedov is not only a wrestler, he's a full-on mixed martial artist now, and it showed in that exchange. Nice punch there by Perry. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. The combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Nice jab there by Nervago Meadow. Harry's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Great punch. Just misses with the straight right. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead, and I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about Ready? his powerful kicks, Ready? how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. That's pretty good start for him. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Oh, 
Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Nice shot to the body there. Outstanding kick there by Perry. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Guppy. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Nurmagomedov gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Pretty significant welt to the left side. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Yeah, left hook found its target. Topping his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Straight punch land. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Lands flush with that right hand. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. He's got to try to get this fight to the ground. Beautiful body kick. Oh, nice right hand. Looking to land the right just out of range. And they separate. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing. Boxing. Box. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning his fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Lands a big elbow there. Oh, misses with the jab. A nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Nurmago Medov gets stung by that leg kick. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Lands a nice straight punch there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a great punch like this with? I'm excited to see what happens. Harry's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the boot. Another shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now we gotta go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Good punch. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Harry's upper cup, but that one is blocked. Oh, nice counter to land the left hook there. Caught that. Oh, there's danger in that too. When you start reaching out to catch that kick, here comes the high kick. a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Perry gets caught with that punch. It's such a fast leg kick. Good job staying patient as he lands the counter strike there. Strong work by Nermago Meta. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. 
it landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Big kick lands. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. DC. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or at his mama's house for Thanksgiving. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him out. The fight's done. Good punch, Lance. Big body kick, Lance. It's my favorite punch in all the fighting. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Slips. Counter left. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Nice strike. Oh, shoot! Superman punch! Looks like it did stun him a little bit. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Oh, nice jab by Namago Medoff. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells it. Shot there, DC, and one two, three, four, five. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is called to stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 26 seconds of round number 3. Declaring the winner by knockout, Mike Putnam Perry! Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile.